gorgeous post cold front afternoon, October 26th. Was doing some classwork. Realized the weather was, I didn't realize it was supposed to be sunny at all this week. Sun popped, it's like 52 degrees, 10 mile an hour wind, northwest wind. Gorgeous afternoon to be hunting. I was gonna hunt this morning, but needed some extra sleep. Basically, I'm just taking a little bit of extra time to hunt this evening since the weather's good. I'm just running somewhere not too far. I have other stuff to be doing, so I don't wanna walk in too far anywhere either. So I have a good spot to where it's a pretty easy access. I've gone in there a lot in late October and have seen a lot of bucks in there. Or not a ton of bucks, but for the amount of times that I've been in there, usually have some good encounters with some deer in there. I headed across the road from this spot in one of the last videos and had seen deer. Me and Ben went into that same spot, saw a whole bunch of deer, but we also saw some hunters in there as well. So I'm gonna try to go to this smaller piece, just see what I can see for the evening. I always like running in there at least once. So we'll see what we see this evening. Uh, I'm gonna finish this sandwich because it tastes insanely good. I'm already freaking out. I'm really excited to be in there. Probably end up seeing you guys on the walk-in. Mm. Mm. Working my way up into the saddle that I want to be in. It's not a very big piece, but the way it sets up, it's just a long ridge along the main water source down here. I think I'm going to take this lower elevation and try to get up into that saddle. I'm assuming deer are gonna be, there's one point just north of here that's really good. And I feel like a lot of the deer that I've seen in here while hunting in here have been coming from the north. But I don't wanna ram right up one of these points in case there's deer somewhat close to me bedded on these points. So I'm gonna try to stay low, get up into that saddle, read the sign and see what kind of setups I can make in there. If I can get to a spot where I can just blow this northwest wind back out the access that I'm coming in, and in the evening, just have my thermals drop down that. I think I could be in a pretty good position for this evening. Looking forward to it. I want to get up there in the next 20 or 30 minutes because it's feeling really good already. It's not even 4 o'clock yet. It feels like deer could be on their feet right now. So Whew, let's get up there. Got up to the saddle, but I had been sneaking my way up. Didn't really know if I wanted to be going slow or fast because I haven't been up in here yet. I didn't know what it was going to be like. And it pretty much ended up being a pretty worst case scenario. I haven't found a single scrape yet or a single rub even. A lot of deer sign. Not, not, not even necessarily up on the ridge top. There are trails and I think it threw me off enough. There's probably just some does living in here putting up enough sign for where I went too slow getting in on the access. Oh, turtle. Cool. And now I got to the top and there's no sign. So, uh, instead of wasting my time here, I got two and a half hours till dark. I'm gonna hightail it out of here. It's a 1.08 miles to the other spot where I know there's scrapes and where I've seen, where we've seen bucks. I've had some good hunts there in the past. It's a beautiful evening and I do not want to waste my time in a spot where there's no sign. So, I'm going to put the phone down and just hightail it. I will see you guys in one mile. Alright, told ya. See you in about a mile. And I have been hightailing over here. Super steep face walk up right here. Just like the last time. Made it up to this highest point here. This is where a lot of the feeding sign stuff was. The wind, the wind sets up differently here. The ridge is situated kind of at 90 degrees of what the other ridge is. So 
So now I'm almost blowing down the ridge, but I can still situate it to where I'm on the more downwind side, blowing out into a bowl. I know there's a couple of laydowns up here that I can get to that are really close to some pretty big scrapes. They were pretty big a couple weeks ago. If they're looking pretty fresh, I might just set up there, and call it good, because it's about five right now. And I don't want to be walking here around 5.30, 6 o'clock. So I'm going to get up to those trees and uh, try to make a set up. Pretty close to where I was set up in that last video. I'm on the other side of the main ridge though. But I got up to here and there's an insanely fresh scrape right up here on this ridge top. I don't want to go any further past that fresh one. End up blowing wind further down this main ridge. I think for right now my wind is pretty much blowing back over this bowl kind of like I had said I wanted. The setups in here are terrible. That's another reason I didn't want to go any further because the woods is so open. I struggle to find any any kind of lay down or cover of any sort to make a valuable ground setup. Even right now it's not that great but luckily there's a lot of big trees and I think as deer are walking through I'll be able to see them from far away first off and I can just kind of adjust with them and have good spots where I can draw when they get behind trees. I scrape them probably just a little bit out of range. I want to say it's probably, I don't even know if I can see it. It might be about 30 yards from me right now. I would like to be a little bit closer, but as you see, it is just insanely open in here. I'm making the most with what I have. I'm going to sit real still here, clear out the leaves under me. I might have enough to get away with it up here. I guess we'll see. You got to get some deer up in front of me for me to actually test it, so. The squirrels. All right, they're gonna be moving soon. I'll see you guys.
side of the saddle and then cutting across this drainage getting up on the same side as me and I never heard him blow or run or anything but he got to the point where my wind was pretty much going right at him I haven't seen him for a few minutes now he was kind of on a mission too I'm sure even if he smelled me, I'm sure it didn't phase him much. He probably just kept cruising down that way. First, like, cruising buck I've seen of this year. That's, that's pretty exciting. Pretty cool. Might just stay right here. Try to glass over where I last saw him at. Not push any further. I was at all intentions of shooting that thing if he was in range. That's for sure. Can't get too bugged by it though, that's pretty cool. It's almost exactly what I wanted to happen. There wasn't really any closer setup to him that I, I think I could have pulled off, so I don't feel too bad about the evening after seeing that. Heck, another one might even do it here in the next 10 minutes. deer coming right at me. He's really run yet. There he goes. That's gonna do it for this evening. Just had that first buck move in in pretty good daylight, and then in the last 25 minutes, like I said, another buck might do it. Another two bucks came right through this saddle. Both of them right on top of me. The first one came, and like didn't somehow didn't see me walked to like probably five yards right here and then this one was on the same trail to do the exact same thing and he kind of caught my outline somehow it was even darker when he came in and uh he got weirded out circled around me got downwind finally blew I guess this spot like right here in the setup was better than i thought it would be and that thing's blowing downwind to me now uh, had that one decent buck come in that I would have considered a shooter, just barely out of range, probably 40 yards. And then that second buck came in, hit that scrape. This buck was definitely right on track to do the exact same thing. They came in within minutes of each other. Whew, weather's got them feeling it. October 26th. 
this is pretty much going right into my favorite time of year to hunt. This last like five or six days of October. Whew. It's feeling good out here. It's cool to actually start to see bucks doing their, doing what they're known to do. All right, I got a decent walk back to the car and I got homework to do. So I'm gonna tear out of here and try not to bump anything else because I might be back in here within the next week. Not too bad back here. I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.